Imagine a jet that thinks faster than a human. That's the goal of Israel's next secret weapon. It's not just a plane, it's a flying supercomputer designed to control the sky for the next 50 years. Hello and welcome back to Winds of Thought. Today we're talking about a project that exists mostly on paper and in the minds of engineers, but it could change everything. We are looking at Israel's idea for a sixth generation fighter jet. They haven't built it yet, they haven't even shown a real picture, but by looking at the technology they already have and the threats they face, we can see what this future war machine might be, and it is unlike anything flying today. Right now, Israel flies some of the best jets in the world, like the American-made F-35. That jet is incredible. It's stealthy. It's packed with sensors. But the world of danger is moving fast. New missiles, smarter air defenses, and drones are changing the game. So Israel is already thinking about what comes next. Their answer isn't just a better F-35. It's a whole new concept for air power. This new jet would be built around three big ideas that work together. A powerful artificial intelligence brain, the ability to command a swarm of drone teammates, and a new kind of invisible stealth that can change while it flies. Let's break down that first idea, the AI brain. Today's fighter jets have computers that help the pilot. They show data, they manage systems, but this future jet would go much further. Its AI would be like a super smart co-pilot that never gets tired or scared. Imagine you are the pilot. Your main job is to make the big decisions. What is the mission? Where do we go? Who is the biggest threat? The AI handles everything else at lightning speed. Here's a simple example. Your jet is flying into enemy airspace. Suddenly, five different radar systems lock onto you. At the same time, two missiles fire from the ground and an enemy jet appears on the horizon. A human brain would be overwhelmed trying to process all that at once. But the AI can see all of it, instantly. It can calculate which missile is the biggest threat. It can tell you the best way to turn to avoid them. It can even fire off electronic jamming signals or decoys, all before you even finish saying, we're in trouble. The AI does the complicated math so you, the pilot, can focus on winning the fight. It turns the pilot from a person who flies the plane into a person who commands the battle. This AI isn't science fiction. Israel already uses AI in its Iron Dome system to track and shoot down rockets. They use it in drones. Putting that same smart technology inside a fighter jet is the logical next step. But this thinking jet would not fight alone. This brings us to the second big idea, the drone swarm. Think of the fighter jet as a queen bee and the drones as its loyal workers. The jet is the command center. The drones are its eyes, ears, and extra weapons. These aren't the simple remote control drones you can buy in a store. These are advanced smart machines that can fly on their own. They might carry cameras, radar jammers, small bombs, or even missiles. So how would this work in a real fight? Let's paint the picture. Your AI-powered fighter jet is heading towards a dangerous target like an enemy air defense site. Instead of flying the expensive piloted jet right into danger, it stops 50 miles away hidden and safe. Then it releases a group of 10 or 20 drones from its belly. These drones fly forward as a team. Some of them act as scouts, sending back live video. Others send out fake radar signals to confuse the enemy, making them think there are 20 jets coming, not just drones. A few of them might even carry explosives to blow up the target. The enemy on the ground is now in a nightmare. They see a swarm of small, fast objects on their radar. They don't know which one is the real threat. They waste expensive missiles trying to shoot down cheap drones. While the enemy is distracted and confused, the main fighter jet, safe in the distance, gets all the information. The pilot sees the whole battlefield and picks the perfect moment to strike or to send in more force. This is called manned-unmanned teaming. It means one pilot can control an entire air attack without ever being in the greatest danger. It gives a small air force like Israel's the power of a much larger one. Now, to make all of this work, to let the AI think and to command the drones, the jet first has to survive. It has to get close enough to the fight without being seen and shot down. This is where the third big idea comes in, next generation stealth. You've heard of stealth jets like the F-35. They are shaped in special ways and covered in materials to make them hard for radar to see. But their stealth is mostly fixed. The shape is what it is. The new idea for Israel's future jet is something called adaptive stealth. 
Imagine the skin of the jet is like a high-tech chameleon. It is covered in tiny sensors and special materials. When an enemy radar beam hits the jet, the skin can actually change. It can absorb the radar energy differently in one spot or reflect it away in another direction. It might even be able to change its shape slightly with moving panels. This makes the jet look like a blurry, shifting ghost on an enemy radar screen. One second it's in one place, the next the signal is gone. It becomes nearly impossible to get a solid lock to fire a missile. The jet's whole shape will be smooth and seamless with no sharp edges or bumps to reflect radar. All of its weapons will be hidden inside the body in internal bays. So when it flies to the fight, it carries its bombs and missiles inside, keeping its smooth, invisible shape. The goal is not just to be hard to see, but to be impossible to track and target reliably. So we have a thinking brain, a swarm of helpers, and an invisible body. What does this jet actually use to fight? What weapons does it carry? Because the stealth is so important, all the weapons are kept inside until the moment they are fired. This hidden arsenal could include very long-range missiles that can hit targets from hundreds of miles away, keeping the jet itself safe. It could carry super accurate bombs that can hit a single room in a building. But the really futuristic weapons might be energy-based. Israel is already working on laser defense systems like Iron Beam. It is not hard to imagine a smaller, more powerful version of a laser being fitted to this future jet. This laser could zap incoming missiles right out of the sky in a split second. It would be the ultimate defense. Other weapons might not even be missiles at all. They could be electronic attack pods that send out powerful signals to fry an enemy's computers and radars, leaving them blind and deaf without a single explosion. All of this technology sounds amazing, but it has to work in the real world. This jet can't be a hangar queen, a plane that is always broken. Israel is a small country with constant threats. They need jets that can fly, fight, and be ready again very quickly. So this future fighter will likely be packed with sensors that check its own health. Think of it like the check engine light in your car, but a thousand times smarter. The jet will monitor its own engines, wings, electronics, and weapons. It will know if a part is getting worn out or is about to fail. It can then send this information directly to the mechanics on the ground so they have the right parts and tools ready before the jet even lands. This means less time being fixed and more time being ready to defend the sky. The jet will also be built to survive if it is hit. It might have backup systems for flight controls, so if one part is damaged, another can take over. The AI could even help here, figuring out how to keep the jet flying steady even with a damaged wing. What does this all mean for the world? Other big countries like the United States and nations in Europe are also working on their own sixth generation fighter jets. Their projects are huge and expensive. Israel's project will be different because Israel's needs are different. They don't need a thousand of these jets. They might need a hundred or even fewer. They need a jet that is perfect for their specific neighborhood, the Middle East. They need a jet that can handle the exact threats their enemies are building. So Israel's strength is not in building the biggest jet. Their strength is in building the smartest, most integrated jet. A jet that takes all their best technologies, AI, drones, cyber warfare, lasers, and puts them into one package. This jet wouldn't just replace an old plane. It would create a whole new way of fighting in the air. It would give a small number of pilots control of a huge amount of firepower and information. In the end, this future fighter is more than metal, wires, and software. It is a statement. It is Israel saying that to protect their nation, they must always stay several steps ahead. They must have technology that their enemies cannot match. This jet concept is about keeping that edge. It is about making sure that whoever looks up at the sky knows that it is a place where Israel's defenders are watching, thinking, and ready faster than anyone else. If you found this look into the future of air combat interesting, please help us out by liking this video. It really supports our channel Winds of Thought. And subscribe so you don't miss our next breakdown of the technology shaping our world. We would love to hear your thoughts. Which part of this future jet do you think is the most important? The AI brain, the drone swarm, or the adaptive stealth? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.